150 years is a long time for anything to be around, but that's the length of time one house in Davis County has stood and the Davis County Historical Society is getting ready to honor the home of former Civil War Dr. William Finley. After the Civil War, he came home. He had had enough of big city, lots of carnage. He wanted to just have a small town be his home. He built that home and had his doctor's office on the main level. The surgery room is still there. To celebrate the house on Saturday, September 9th, there will be tours taking place of the house along with music and cake. Part of the tour is getting to see his doctor's office that includes demonstration of the medical tools that were used during that era, along with medical books and bullets removed from those who fought in the Civil War. And you can't forget about the reason for the architecture that splits the grotesque surgery room from the more mellow parlor. Mrs. Finley suggested I'm quite sure very hardly, that he build a entrance in a different location. They closed that door completely. People did not use the parlor anymore. They sat in the hallway and um, it, it's very obvious that that all worked just fine. So. The event is meant to focus on the house as it's celebrating its anniversary, but there will be other things to show off at the festivities, including a never before seen exhibit known as booths that show off an old gamble store along with other companies. We took whatever might have sold in a gambles store and we created a booth. The booth has on one side washing machines through the years. Those who are older tend to appreciate history more, but Nancy hopes that it's the kids who will come and visit and leave with a better appreciation for why history is so important. And they imagine everything that's going on. And I know very good and well that that is helping them in the long run, the way they think, what they remember, everything that happens. Kids have to be kind of stirred along on, the, on a path and if you don't point them in the historical path, it's a bad idea. We, we need to remember our history. Another part of Davis County's history is what's called the Civil War Raid Trail. It was when Confederate soldiers dressed as Union soldiers rode across 30 miles or so of land in southeast Iowa, robbing or destroying property in 34 homes. In 2005, just south of Bloomfield, a monument was dedicated to the raid. Recently, with all the tension that's surrounded Confederate statues in our great nation, it's important to remember why these monuments exist. Both sides gave their life believing in a cause, a cause that was so important to them to give everything. So if they had that strong a feeling, then we should remember and honor it. If you would like to find out more about the trail or any other Davis County historical facts, you can visit the Davis County Historical Society, Society in Bloomfield for more information.